see all of you here. We have a, a birthday this week. So, Gordon, where are you? So, to the red. Man, we're looking for it. Birthday. Oh, I'm out of the birthday business. You're out of the birthday business. No way. Since when? Since like no. <laughs> I tell you what, you can't get good help anymore. Does anybody else have a birthday other than Steve? Well, that's nice. We'll sing for your sister, too. What's her name? Leanne. Okay, we've got two birthdays, Leanne and Steve. And uh, I don't care which one of you do it, so I don't have to. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, God bless you. Happy birthday. You only do Elvis. I'm going to take it back. I was going to go. Yeah, that, she didn't do it well enough. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Okay, I have a card here that I would like to read. Uh, it says, Dear Jim, Belita, and Common Ground Biker Church. <laughs> We truly cannot say thank you enough for all you have poured into uh, Expansion International in recent years. You have given $20,600 to the work in Kenya over the last few years. What an impact. We cannot put into words how grateful we are for you. So many lives have been touched by your generous giving or your gener generosity and love. And we're excited to continue partnering uh with you through prayer volunteering and whatever way the lord might want to move we serve a big god and he uses prayer in mighty ways so please continue to pray for us and we also will be praying for you we are forever co-laborers in this kingdom work uh with love and gratitude amy and uh it's from Expansion International. This is the work in Kenya. And uh, I didn't realize that the church had given that much to me. But uh, I thought that was nice. That's the response that she gave to our letter uh, saying that we were going to have to cut back for a while. So uh, that was really nice the way that they, uh, she responded to that. Okay. Today we have the ride and drive. And uh, it'll probably be just a ride. Robert's sick, so remember him in your prayers this week. But uh, we're going to hook up with ICMS up at Story Park. <clears throat> so for those going on the ride, we need to leave here at 11:30. We can't wait till 12 because they close it out up there at 12 o'clock. So we need to leave here at 11:30. Get up there. Get to be a part of the thing and then uh, and go on from there. Now, if I understand right, the ride is going first to Lucky Peak at the park there? No, to Black Canyon, to Rose Park up at uh, Black Canyon. Oh, okay. Oh. Now come back through Orchard Bend and back around in up at TNT in Nampa. Oh, okay. So we're going, we're going from here to Black Canyon Park Rose Camp, yeah. yeah. And then we're, are we going to stop in Horseshoe Bend? Yeah, at the Long Branch. At the Long Branch. Start and we'll go for it. And, okay, okay, we're going to go that direction. Okay. Going to go there, Black Canyon at the park, go to the Long Branch at, uh, at uh, Horseshoe Bend, and then come back and go to Star at the, that new uh, Beer Guys Bar and Grill. Yeah, Star Bar, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Sam's, yeah, something like that. Sam's place. Yeah. Well, no, it's changed. 
Fear guys. Fear guys. Be Sam's yes. right. Right. Okay, and then it'll end at ten. Ten. The old woodshed in Napa. Okay. Okay. So that's the the plan. So we'll talk about that more. That's a pretty long ride. I don't know if I'll be able to make that long a ride, but I will be able to make the loop to Emmett where she's been and around. I'm still able to make the other part. And uh, so if others of you can go on and make the whole ride, that's good. If others of you are like me, you're old and worn out and you can't, then, uh, <laughs> then I think everybody will understand that. But uh, we want to leave here at 1130. So uh, everybody involved in that, let's get our act together and get out back by 1130 so we can get up there. And, and uh, we'll just leave somebody here that's not going with us to walk up and, and everything here. Okay, Mike. Thank you. We'll lock up so we don't have to rush anybody out. So you can stay and do it and talk. The only people will be rushed out is people going on the ride. So that'll work good. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, the deal yesterday, the cider uh, thing was really neat. Uh, Belita had never been to it before and she just loved it. Uh, but uh, I know others of you. We didn't all get there at the same time, but others of you were there at various times, and uh, it was a neat thing. Uh, 12 o'clock this coming Sunday is our next leadership meeting, and then 12 o'clock Sunday the 23rd, that's two weeks from today, is our last uh, ride and drive for the season, and I'm hoping weather permitting is going to be good for that. Uh, my understanding is the weather has <coughs> changed drastically on Tuesday. So, you know, we're in that time that's questionable at this point in time. Uh, 12 o'clock Sunday, October the 30th, is our next potluck. It's going to be soup and salad, okay? Soup and salad. That's the 30th. And if you want to uh, present some of your hidden talents, okay, then uh, this is the opportunity for you to do that. And I would ask you to hook up with Colette so that she can uh, know who wants to do what and uh, she can organize everyone in the order that she wants them to, to present their uh, hidden talents. Okay, I think that's all the announcements and everything. Uh, I know that uh, there are a lot of people in our church that are needing prayer for various reasons and. I would just encourage you to sort of pray like one person told me this morning. They just said, just pray for the whole church <laughs> because three quarters of it is something wrong with them. <laughs> but uh, and, and there's, there's a lot of truth in that. And, and uh, I, I know you're, you're praying for the whole church and other people in the church. The one I would like to mention the most this morning, and most of you probably know this already, is Patty. Uh, she found out this last week that, uh, oh, is it on? Yeah. Okay, can you uh, We found out, is that better? Okay, we found out this past week, or Patty and Billy did, that uh, she has a brain tumor. Oh. And, uh, gosh. It's three. Three, yeah, three brain tumors, and they are cancer. And uh, so there's been a big deal about whether or not she's going to have surgery and this, that, and the other. Uh, they've decided to get surgery. They're going to do some radiation and let that be it. So pray for them. Uh, this is a very difficult time for both of them. And uh, Patty is just Patty. I'm fine. I love you so much. <laughs> yes, that's Patty. I mean, that's what she still is. Uh, but Billy's really had a hard time. So remember both of them, but particularly remember Billy because, uh, you know, he, he's going to be just at a terrible, terrible, terrible loss. And, uh, uh, She's, she's got it made and she knows it. And so, you know, she's she's okay with everything. Uh, 
remember, remember him for sure this year, okay? All right. Yes. Um, we just brought in a jug of the apple cider. People want to taste it. Oh, okay. It's so really good. It is. Were you all there too? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. What time were you all there? Oh, late. Almost all day. <laughs> well, we were there from we were there from ten thirty to eleven thirty. You must have been clean up four. Oh, at four. Oh, oh, okay. We went early, thinking it was that's when we should go. Uh, yeah, we didn't. yeah. Okay. Well, we had to go see my mom. So anyway, uh, but it, it was it was fun, and it was it was neat to see little kids uh, involved in learning the process. There was one little girl when we were there. I mean, she just worked herself silly, uh, doing the whole thing, everything about grinding up the apples and then putting them in the press and turning the thing for the press and then getting it out and it was really it was really cool to see young kids learning that process because you know it'll be totally lost if it's not passed along they probably slept really well last night oh my <laughs> god they probably can't move this <laughs> i mean you're talking about work that was work i mean beginning to end whoever was doing doing the job it was Jim, have you been around little kids lately Huh? You don't see that. <laughs> They'll, they run non-stop. You won't bother their muscles at all. You don't think so? Nah. Oh, good. It won't bother the other people that was involved. <laughs> okay, so let's pray and then we'll get started with our worship. <clears throat> Father, we just come to you now in the name of Jesus. We just thank you for this day and this opportunity that we have to come and gathered together as your children and and uh, uh, fellowship with each other and, and gather around uh, the opportunity to worship you and praise you and to also uh, hear a message from uh, your letter to us uh, because the Bible is truly uh, a letter from you to us and we're just so thankful for it and we're thankful that we have the opportunity today to study together. Lord, I thank you for each person that's here. We pray for all those that are uh, sick or in need of any uh, any way in our church. We pray that you would just reach out and touch them and minister to them. And Lord, as we just said earlier, we pray particularly today for uh, Patty and Billy. Uh, Father, we just give them both up to you and we pray that your perfect will will be done in their life. We pray that it will be done on the timetable that is uh, your timetable. And we pray that you would give them both the strength and the encouragement and the, the, the power and presence of your Holy Spirit to face what they're having to face. Lord, we just stand on the promise that you've told us you'll not give us more than what we're able to bear. And uh, I just know that you're going to be faithful to keep that promise to them. Uh, so just bless them and, and uh, let your will be done in all that's going on with them at this time. Lord, we just turn this service over to you. We pray for the worship team. We pray that we will be able to sing praises to you that will be uh, worthy of your name. And then, uh, Lord, we pray that you bless the word uh, as it is brought forth. Uh, we thank you for uh, the birthdays. We thank you for the visitors we have. And uh, we just thank you for all the blessings that you give to our church. And we pray, Lord, that we would be a blessing to you in return and that we would be an instrument of blessings to others. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. <coughs> Dave.